Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. My name is Nacho Cheese and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please take the time to go ahead and like and subscribe. And if you aren't new here, welcome back. So a few weeks ago, maybe about two, three weeks ago, um, hell, maybe even a month ago, who knows, time, um, I reacted to um, Jam Wayne and Adam Calhoun Ready, I believe was the name of the song. And shortly after I put up a poll, because I really enjoyed listening to Jam Wayne, that was pretty dope. Like, I may now be a fan of country rap. So I put up a poll asking um, anyone who subs to me or who watched the video, um, what Jam Wayne song I should react to next. And I put up No Problems and Smooth. Now, I really did want to do Smooth, but I went back and looked at the poll because I couldn't remember. I remember in like the comments... Especially a lot of females were telling me to listen to Smooth. And I actually think I still am going to check out Smooth. But first I'm going to put up um, No Problems because it won in the poll. So I'm going to go ahead and listen to No Problems. This came out three months ago. Um, I don't know if that's indicative at, uh, at all of when he wrote this song. Because I think someone in my comments even told me that like he just started his channel. So... Anyways, this video came out three months ago, so I'm not super late, which I'm incredibly happy about. So let's go ahead and get into it. And like always, stick around to the end. I will talk about the video, uh, let you know what I liked about it. Generally, I never talk about things I dislike. I'm pretty fair and I'm, I, every, everything's been good. But I'll tell you what I liked and go over some of my favorite lyrics. So let's get into it. This is uh, No Problems. <laughs> Okay, I ain't even gonna flex this Sunday. I ain't even up next, but one day you gonna put this tape in, hit the replay, gonna vibe in your ride, chill to the music, feeling what I'm putting inside, dealing with your vulnerable. Ooh, the Bronco! Oh, I want a Bronco. Okay, I'm gonna say this now. Okay, so not I'm not like a car girl. Okay, I don't. I really don't know a lot about cars, like at all. But he's got some really smexy cars going on in this uh this video right now. Smexy. I saw the Mercury. Saw four. Got a Bronco. Oh, that Bronco is nice. I want to see it. I want to see it. Side, this go hard and I ain't even try. Close your eye, just vibe with me. Do a die for life, really. When I ride and he drive, with me. Great spirit is my spirit. Navigate through the ways of the land. Demonstrate when the new understand. Give me grace when I don't understand. Okay. Holy hell. This is starting off really, really good. I'm getting like this old school, like heavy feel to it. I'm loving it. And like I said, the cars, this is giving me vibes from like my dad. This is like, like the shit my dad was on, like the style. I don't know if you know, you know, it's like old school, old head style, like with the cars, even down to the fit, like the beat. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Okay, through the ways of the land, demonstrate when the new understand. Give me grace when I don't understand which way is the best. No, God's got a plan. Throughout my life, my head stay dirty. Down the ride when it's necessary. Walk the line, I got no worries. Take my time, I'm in no hurry. <laughs> I like that. Take my time, I got no worries. So I'll be honest too, usually I can pause more with like, even though Adam raps fast sometimes. With his inflection and everything, I can hear him well. With Jam Wayne, it's kind of hard for me to understand what he's saying just because of his raspiness. So I might not be pausing as much because I might not be catching a lot of his lyrics in real time like I would like with Adam or uh, Tom. Because his raspiness makes it a, a little... Uh, his... Uh, what would that... His enunci not enunciation, but in inflection is just a little hard. But uh, I like that line though. Walk a line, I got Okay, 
bro, if he walked up on me like this and was like, you know what, no problems, I'd be like, sir, I do not. I certainly don't. <laughs> Dude, he looks like I don't, I would not want to start anything with him. And it's so funny, too, not too long ago, I caught, I guess he posted some, I don't know if it was live or it was a premiere. I think it was really short. It was a sit down with him and some other guy, interview style. What, like, seriously, mind blown is the way he sounds when he raps, that ruggedness and everything, and how deep it is, is like his speaking voice. I was like, Ooh. it is wild. You don't really want, you don't, you don't really want no problem. Bronco. I to that, to down six feet deep in the casket, to my last breath and I breathe that. Stand on the front line, called in the action, keep my brain no relapse. Trying to stay clean, but the mud gon' stick. Surge in the fit, does on the whip. One, two, five, six, so I'm curling the silk with a pearl on the hill. Hand trick, a flick, I hold big. Peace with the wood on the grill. Black in a bit, bout to be curled when I slip out. Put the hell cat on drill. Smoke in the spill, get thrown rap on the seat. I like that. You know what I like too? And um, this was very similar. And I'm wondering if the same person who like um, edited and directed or whatever this video did his last video. But um, I'm a I'm a I'm a fan of the uh, color gradient in this. It's like that uh, sepa. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a it's almost like a burnt tone to it. I don't know. Like sometimes if I put filters, if I ever do put filters on any of my like um, video or or not even video or like photos, I do a rustic kind of style. Uh, coloring like how this video is and it's similar to the other video uh so I, I just want to shout that out I'm I'm really liking it it's a really cool aesthetic and I think it really goes with like that deep rugged tone that you get from Jam Wayne you gon' see it with a pack on yourself, been through hell, and I'll be damned if I climb out just so I can jump back in. Damn, I'll be damned if I climb out so I can jump back in. I did catch that one, guys. A cat on drill, smoke in the spill, get thrown rap on the seat. You gon' see it with a pack on yourself, been through hell, and I'll be damned if I climb out just so I can jump back in. Back tie spin when I'm out, looking for the cash out red zone, going for the win. I love this dude. Most of gone so long in the grave, but they locked in a pin. In the wind, raise up a toast to the ones that be locked down, doing a bit. No, the world ain't shit. Lord heard every pray lift up down there, sell block six. As the world on till, everybody Leroy left. Had to put the south on drill. About this here, yeah. Bobbing with a head, now I'm mobbing in the streets. I live, let me make it. <laughs> Our friend here is a drinker. <laughs> I'm just enjoying it, just silly. Uh, I caught that, just uh. How like he's got the beer going, but I like how like in the VO2 he's like spilling it everywhere. This dude is like total like oozing masculinity. Let me just say that much. It's clear with the third breads in the country. Blue car tried and true. And if it comes down to it, and you cross that line in the red, white, and blue, boy, you better salute. You don't really want no problem. You don't really want no problem. You don't really want no problem. You don't really want you don't, you don't really want no problem. <laughs> that was awesome. I really enjoyed that. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Hello everyone and welcome to the end of the video. I just finished watching Jam Way No Problems. Came out about three months ago and I loved it. Like I said in my video. Or like I said, <laughs> <coughs> sorry, like I said earlier <clears throat> in the video, when I was watching the music video, I love the old school feel of it. So it like reminded me of like my dad, like, you know, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like just very old school. Like he had a cutlass, like um, the way he dressed, like baggier clothes with like the hood up and the heavier coats. Like, I don't know. It's like. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. It kind of like just kind of reminded me um, of the atmosphere like I grew up around. And I really, really appreciate that Jam Wayne brings that into his music. And I think that's why I really like it. And people who have commented um, about him to me have like expressed that that's like kind of his thing. It's like this old school like cutlass flow to it like seriously i love it i love it i love it okay so as far as the lyrics so i had two favorite lyrics so the first one was in the first 
verse and it's when he was setting up the song when he said just really in the beginning when he said i ain't even up when he opens up he says okay i ain't even gonna flex it's sunday i ain't even up next but one day and i just like i don't know i i repeat it back and it sounds terrible but i love it it's like the confidence that he has when he raps is amazing. So I just like how he was just like, I ain't even up next but one day. Love it. Then the my second favorite part, I actually stopped in the middle of it. Um, but when I went back and wa- did a watch through, I got to hear um, again what he said the first time before I stopped it. So it was in the second verse when he says, um that been through hell line so he says uh get thrown rap on the seat you ain't you ain't gonna see it with the pack on your step been through hell and i'll be damned if i climb down if i'll climb down just so i can jump back in like i love that that been through hell and i'll be damned if i climb down just so i can jump back in i love that i i admire when him and Adam put in lyrics that hint at their past. So I don't know much about Jam Wayne as much as I know about Adam, just because I've watched more about Adam stuff. And I know Adam's been to prison. So I know a lot of that carries over into his music, which I really admire. So I wouldn't be surprised if I went and did more research about Jam Wayne, maybe if I found just something maybe that affected him in a way maybe as a young man um that maybe changed him for the better and that translates into his music because i can't pinpoint it because it's never specific lyrics especially with this song or the last song but i think he likes to pay homage to his past his upbringing the type of music he listens to like with him i feel like i get a story and i appreciate artists that tell me stories when they are um doing songs so Anyways, I enjoyed this so much. You know what? Uh, what the hell? I'm going to do a twofer. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go um, right now and watch Smooth. So uh, if you made it this far, lucky you. Now you know. All right. See you soon. Peace. Peace.